Warriors, but you, you were not an early convert to this in-season tournament. But now that you've seen this and we've got here, what do you think? I don't know that I'm a late convert either. <laughs> but Malika, look, this is evidence of Adam Silver and the, the NBA marketing folks of their genius. They wanted people to pay attention in big numbers to the NBA before Christmas Day. And this is proof positive. They executed every single detail of this perfectly. The, the young players particularly care about the result. Fans care. People are watching in higher numbers on television. I'm sure we're thankful for that. Amen. And it just shows, yeah, a hype can be effective. And you can say, this is going to matter. We're going to make this matter by telling you this. And the league did it brilliantly. So kudos to them. Absolutely. I want to give props to the fans. I really, really do. Let me tell you something right now. Watch the in-season tournament game when they were in Golden State. Watch them when they were in Sacramento. Watch them the other week when they were, when Indiana knocked off Boston despite Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown dropping 30. Look at this kid, Tyrese Halliburton now. It affects me. It affects me negatively because everybody and their grandmama knows I'm a native New York and I'm a Knicks fan and I begged them to draft Tyrese Halliburton years ago. They passed up on him and this brother's a showstopper. Averaging better than 26 a game. Averaging a league lead, league leader in assists with nearly 12 per game. He's a showstopper. Their offense is magnificent. With Their defense is a story for another day, but the bottom line is this. They're exciting to watch. Milwaukee is no joke. The Pelicans, Zion Williamson is in the line. Up. LeBron is in the house wanting to take home the trophy, the first and all rolling season tournament. You got what you need, and the lead up to it was so exciting, so, tis so titillating by the fans mm. that the players had no choice but to react accordingly. The more interest the fans showed, yep. the more their interest elevated, and they showed it in their level of play. I and was, I love it. I was turning around Stephen A the other night saying, I wish I was in Indianapolis. That's I right. don't know if I've ever said that before, right. but hey. I wish I was in hey. Indianapolis right. the other yeah. night. Right. Hey, Indianapolis is pretty good, right? It's okay. <laughs> Got some pastry I'm a Morton Steakhouse fan. I'm a Morton okay, Steakhouse okay. fan. Yeah. Look, I was on a committee a few years ago when they started talking about this. And it was about six or seven GMs. And it wasn't universal, right? I mean, there was more positive people than people like you who are old and crotchety. crotchety. That's what you yeah. said, right? Get off my lawn. Right. Officially. Yeah, officially. And Get I, didn't, I couldn't lawn. tell. Did you say you were in now? You're still Get not in? Get off my fairway. Are you, are you okay it with it now? It, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, th I'm, they're okay with it. And the but are you? I just want to know. I think it's still hocus pocus. Okay, okay, that's I, ridiculous. I really okay. You know. So, anyways, <laughs> what did we have to lose by doing this? We just played some regular season games in November, December, and and, and Stephen, you're right. The fans, the fans have made this something, but more importantly, the players. They have all bought into this thing. Yeah. I ran into some players this morning in our hotel. I said, "Is this you playing for money or pride?" And they said both. But it's amazing how much money these guys have at five hundred thousand dollars. I guess that's not nothing, but not for the first for, seven for how guys much, yeah, right. roster. for the real, for the big money guys. But but you know what, you know what everybody likes to watch, Malika, mm. is effort. And when you watch these games, it's the closest thing to playoffs you're going to get, right? That's it until the playoffs. We all love watching effort, and you're seeing these players wow. compete, and that's what makes it so well, great. So you and know what, you know what I, the question it begs, though, and I agree with everything you guys have said. And it's, it has been fun to watch. Does that mean there's nothing to watch until Christmas Day because there's no trophy no, it's not that. Slice? It's not that. What, what, we, is what, what, what we were seeing, it, what, we never saw a lack of effort on the basketball court. What we were seeing, however, was missed games. And outside of missed games due to load management and other things, we were seeing an absence of prioritizing the earlier part of the season. It's the marathon, not the sprint. And when you gave quotes yeah. to the media and beyond, you kept saying, it's playing for April. We're playing for the, we're playing the longest. And you were articulating this message to the masses, not realizing you were giving the masses an excuse to question your level Stephen of commitment a, earlier on. And that was eradicated. What happens now? Well, or now, now until the playoffs? Or now into the All-Star break? Well, now you What's the message? Where is the energy coming? Well, I will tell you this. Now that you got the first two months out of the way and you're in the throes of the season and you've caught your rhythm, right. now you're there. And as a result, you just continue to carry the momentum throughout the regular season because we're going to remember what we saw here. And we're going to say, when you're on the court, what the hell is the problem giving us that effort all the time? We've seen guys during the regular season in the past give more effort during summer league play yep. than they did during some regular season games. That, to me, is dissipative, if not flat out eradicated, and that's what the hell needed to happen.